One of the most exciting new features in Blackboard Learn 9.1 Service Pack 10 is the new Content Editor, uh, which promises to be a vast improvement over the previous one. Uh, but one of the most intriguing features of that Content Editor is the new ability to record webcam video directly into the editor, giving you a very efficient way to embed uh, video in your Blackboard shell. To see what we mean, let's build a content item. We'll just call it video example. And we're going to, a content item of course allows us to co create content using the content editor. And we're going to use this little icon right here at the far left of the third uh, menu bar in the editor that's entitled Record from Webcam. When the interface comes up, the first thing we're asked to do is to sign into YouTube. So using this feature requires that you have a YouTube account uh, and that you sign into it here. Indeed, this mashup is basically just using the webcam recording facility built into YouTube. So if we sign into YouTube, you can of course create a free account if you don't already have one. And grant it access to our system. We're now ready to record. All I have to do is click this uh, button, allow my flash player to have access to the system, and we're now ready to record. All I have to do is click start recording. I'll have to OK this final permission. And now I'm recording directly from Blackboard through my webcam, in my laptop in this case, but it will work with any webcam connected to your computer. This uh, tool gives you a very easy, quick, and efficient way to uh, embed basic video content, uh, probably mostly talking head content like this, into your Blackboard shell. Though of course you can record anything that your webcam can see, like maybe your textbook. This by the way, uh, by a book by Richard Meyer is one of the uh, uh, best books about the efficacy of instructional multimedia. So you can go right ahead for some time speaking to your students. Once you're done recording, just click the button marked Stop Recording. And you can preview your recording. And now I'm recording directly from Blackboard through my webcam. That appears to have recorded satisfactorily. Now I can upload the video with one click to YouTube. Once the uh, upload starts, I can go ahead and insert this into the content area where I started the process, in this case my home page. Or rather, I can insert it, the video into the editor. I then have all the usual uh, controls and uh, capabilities associated with a content item in Blackboard. And by clicking Submit, I place that item in my uh, content area on Blackboard. Now we've got to wait a few minutes for YouTube to process the video and a bit longer for it to uh, provide automatic captions. 
the processing will only take a few minutes. The automatic captions may take anywhere up to eight hours or more. Uh, but once we figure it's had time to do that, we can go uh, now directly to YouTube and see that this video is captioned. We can do that by logging into YouTube in the usual way and going to the video manager in our account. That video should be right at the top. There it is. Then we'll just select Edit and Captions. And indeed we have some automatic captions here in English. YouTube will also automatically caption in, uh, in up to I think seven or eight languages at this point in time but we'll be satisfied with English. Uh, these are automatic captions produced by voice recognition using the Google Voice uh, voice recognition engine. So they're going to be pretty good but far from perfect in most cases. So we really need to edit these captions. We can do that by just clicking on this link right here and listening to the audio and then typing in the inline caption editor that uh, YouTube has added over the summer. And now I'm recording directly from Blackboard. Well that's pretty good. All I'll have to do is put in the capital A and I can capitalize the I. And that's, for otherwise that first caption's perfect. M and through my webcam. And I'm guessing there's a period there. Okay, so you get the idea. All we're going to have to do here is uh, edit our way through the captions, which are in remarkably good shape already in this case. You'll note as we move through an edit and we save uh, captions in turn, we're shown that the old caption has been struck out and replaced by the new caption, which in most cases uh, re resembles the old caption pretty closely. Once you've finished editing, just click Done. And you now have two caption tracks, one edited in English and one still the automatic captions. The uh, YouTube will automatically use the edited captions unless specifically told otherwise. We can now go back to Blackboard and play this video and see that right here we have captions. We can select either the automatic captions or the good captions we've just edited. And now I'm recording directly from Blackboard through my webcam, in my laptop in this case, but it will work with any. And so now we have a video which we have recorded inside Blackboard, which we've captioned in YouTube, and which is uh, fully accessible to students with hearing impairments and uh, any cognitive difficulties that inhibit uh, assimilation of information from the spoken word. We have a video that we can now use in our online class that we've produced within Blackboard using a webcam and the new Video Anywhere plugin for the Blackboard Learn 9.1 Service Pack 10 uh, revised content editor.